What's up, everyone? My name is Sage, and we are back for another episode of Until Dawn. So, last episode was kind of exciting. Uh, things went downhill for some of the characters. So, starting off with Jessica and Mike, Jess was taken by something. We have no idea what it is, but I am assuming it has something to do with some sort of Native American folklore or some sort of paranormal creature that stems from Native American folklore. I don't know what, but I did notice a lot of repetitive symbolism and themes around antlers, deer, and crows. I will figure it out, but I don't know yet. <laughs> but yes, Jess was taken. Uh, I originally thought I killed her. <laughs> killed her off. She was taken by something, and she was really beaten up. Uh, we found her in the mines, and... Yes, she was on a lift, and she plummeted down to the bottom of hell. <laughs> I, I really don't know. To the lower part of the mines. So, yes. I have no idea if she survived that. So while Mike was trying to help Jess, we came across, I believe, the creature who I shot and also the guy that has been following us with the gas mask on. So yes, yeah, since uh, we're not sure if Jess survived that drop, uh, Mike went to follow the man that he spotted in the mines. So yes, we are going to follow him to some building. I'm not sure what the building is yet, but yes. That is that. Okay, so the others, Josh was acting very weird. I had assumed that he brought everyone back to the cabin to seek revenge. We had Josh, Chris, and Ashley playing with the spirit board. Uh, things kind of went weird and Josh stormed out and sort of blamed them for what happened with the spirit board, which was kind of weird. The spirit board told Ashley and Chris to look into the library for some sort of proof of what happened to Hannah and Beth. So yes, while Josh was away, they did that. They found a threatening letter and then they were both knocked out. And then that's when we saw the, the masked person who I thought was Josh. <laughs> but when Chris woke up and he followed some trail to a shed and saw Josh and Ashley tied up, he had to make the hard decision, well me, I did, I had to make that decision of killing either Ashley or Josh. <laughs> so I decided to save Ashley in that moment. And then we saw Josh get cut in half. <laughs> very, very gory scene. And yes, throughout that whole thing, Sam was chilling in the bath. And yes, once uh, once Chris released Ashley, that is when we were reunited with Matt and Emily. So they've been missing out on all the fun. <laughs> now, I honestly have no idea where this is going because my original theory was that Josh was behind this whole thing. And then we were also dealing with the paranormal creature that Mike and Jess was dealing with. But I am really excited to jump back into the game. Kind of nervous because I don't know what's going to happen, but yes, I'm excited. So let's get into it. Okay, let me make sure I'm recording <laughs> so I don't have to restart the game again. Testing, testing. All right, let's go. Let's do it! Man, I'm so curious. Oh yeah, that. That facial expression kind of freaked me out. I'm really curious what it is that grabbed Jess. I've just 
been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. Go have fun. Oh my god! Shit! There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be Oh, there? that's what that is. The sanatorium. Dread. Okay. Where is he? That's not good. That's really not good. Oh, dog. Wolf. We saw one of them in the totem. Is that our way to get in? I think it is. It looks partially open. The eyes on that wolf. Oh, that's so pretty. Right. Let's get a closer look. Uh, uh. Oh, man. Okay, let me just <laughs> look around and make sure there there are no uh, totems. Am I able to go around this way? Uh, it is. It is a challenge. Uh, Trying to use the light. <laughs> Wait, uh, uh. Can I go this way? I wonder. Oh, yeah, I can. Wait, is that- that's for the gate. Oh no, it is a totem! <gasps> okay, that's white. Matt. Hmm. Okay, okay. Dude must be freezing his buns off. Look at how cold it is. On this oh jeez the <laughs> the howling okay now all right all right okay wait I don't know if I should go through the door I see what does that say awesome. condemned why wouldn't I end up in the creepiest place on planet Earth? June 12th, 1954. Oh. My birthday's June 11. But not 1954. <laughs> Can I check this way? Hold on. Hold on. 
Oh, that's a fence. I know it showed that the door was... I don't know. I, I feel like I should go this way. Um. What if I were to choose to go through the front door? <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I saw something up there. Okay. So... We have to figure out how to get up there, right? Eee, creepy, creepy. Far, it seems like only Mike and Jess have had any experience with the creature. Paranormal creature. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do we get a glimpse of the creature? was under loss. Oh, whose face is that? Wait. <sighs> it's like a split second of whatever that creature is. I cannot tell. Oh, there we go. So we can make friends with one of the dogs? Wolves? And we- <laughs> Okay. There we go. We got it. We're going places. Let me have a sip of my coffee. <laughs> because I feel like... It's like a quick time events can just pop up at any moment. Oh, that's what we came through. Okay. It's always creepy to go back to a abandoned uh, sanatorium. <laughs> I wonder if there are spirits of the dead in there. Oh, look, a crow. Chapel. Oh, is that where the front door is? Oh, I hear the dog. Wolf. They see him. Why 
could you do that right now? Okay, so we need to find a key. I did see something behind him. Okay. Is there something on the side? I don't like all the sounds that are... There's a way to go up there. I don't like all the sounds. Okay, okay. Uh... Uh, let me check here first. What is this? Administration notes. I just forced them all out. You'll need a nose peg. Peg. Those guys smell awful. Okay, what does it say? A note asking staff to prepare beds for miners who were rescued after an incident at the mine. The miners were brought to the sanatorium to recover. January 4th, 1952. Be advised that the miner rescue is due to be completed tomorrow, January 5th. As the number of surviving miners is unknown, prepare all beds in Ward A. The press shall be in attendance tomorrow. We must be seen to be giving the miners the best possible care. Note that press visitors are not to be allowed into the psychiatric ward. Failure in this regard would reflect badly upon Mr. Bragg and the sanatorium as a whole and shall result in the on-the-spot dismissal. The accident at the mine. Hmm. I wonder if we will find out. Is this... Should I... Is that where the front is? Okay. Okay. Can I close it? <laughs> Can I close it? No? Okay. Sanatorium. Look at that. Oh, my light is glitching again. The Blackwood Pine Sanatorium opened 1922. Men, men's sana in Corpor Corp Sana. Oh, is that Latin? I don't know. Oh gosh, the wind. I would like to close that door, but I cannot. I can hear, I can hear the wolves. Oh, someone really wanted to take a peek inside. I'm surprised it opened that. Clocking in cards. 30. What is that? Clocking in cards. A batch of 30 clocking in cards from the mine locked away in a safe. This means there were 30 miners trapped in this mine. 30 clocking in mine. Okay. <laughs> you can't take it with my lantern. <laughs> my lights always be glitching. 
Anything on the desk? No. Okay. Can we check the photo? No. Okay. Um... I cannot take all the sounds, man. What is in here? Oh, a camera! Oh, it's broken. Broken camera. The lens of this camera is smashed. It looks like someone did this on purpose. I guess whatever is on there. Hmm. I don't know. I was gonna say whatever could be on there is evidence, but you could easily, because it looks like a film camera, you could easily take out the film and develop it and see what's on the photos. So I have no idea what it would, why it was broken purposely. There is nothing here, right? Okay. Okay. There's like so many, so many secret rooms to go to. <laughs> I know in the other room it looked like I could go upstairs, but I didn't figure out how. Huh. Intrigue on Blackwood Mountain. Assaulted on Blackwood Mountain? Would it? Let's let's see what that says. A reporter assaulted on Blackwood Mountain. <clears throat> A newspaper dated 1952 with a story about a reporter being banned from visiting a group of rescued miners. The reporter had his camera confiscated. The Alberta Post. Reporter assaulted. Okay. Blackwood Pines, AB. A reporter from the Alberta Bugle was assaulted and hospitalized yesterday by security personnel at the Blackwood Sanatorium. Chuck Bernstein. A senior news reporter was seeking an interview with the miners dramatically rescued on Tuesday. The men had been trapped underground for over three weeks after a structural collapse at the Northwest Mine in December and are now being treated at Blackwood Sanatorium for malnutrition and trauma. Huh. We did see that uh, clue when Jess and Mike were at the mines. And it seemed like the owners knew that it was unsafe to be at the mines. Jefferson Bragg. Bragg. Sole proprietor of both the Northwest Mining Company and the Blackwood Sanatorium, told the Buell yesterday that the incident was unfortunate and that a full internal inquiry had been launched. He also claimed that Bernstein had been trespassing on sanatorium grounds without permission. It is believed that the assault arose from an argument about Bernstein's camera, which was confiscated immediately prior to the attack. Oh, so he must have saw something that happened to those miners. When was this? 1952. I wonder... It is linked to the creature that took Jess. Updated. Oh, this must be the camera mentioned in the newspaper article. Someone really didn't want these pictures getting out. I mean, you can still get the pictures even if the lens <laughs> is broken. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. That's the room that's the room we came from. Let's 
go here first? <laughs> the rats! Medical notes. One of those guys actually tried to bite me. I'm going to report it to Dr. Bowen. Okay, let's see. Oh! Okay, let's let's see through uh Oh, what did it say my objective is? Find the key card to open the chapel door. Okay. The clue. Miners rescued from the mine were healthier. Oh, were healthier than expected, although some had exhibited reintegration problems. Update. The report mentions 12 miners, but there were 30 clocking in cards. Retrieved from the mine. There was no indication of what happened to the other 18 miners. Uh, Dr. N.H.F. Bowen. Medical report. Report follows the initial state of the 12 miners after the collapse of the mine and subsequent rescue at Blackwood Pines. On receipt of the 12 patients at the sanatorium's medical facility, we had fully expected to find emaciated shells of men, starved and confused. Thankfully, the miners appear cogent and relatively healthy, attributed to their appear apparent discovery of emergency food supplies in the mine. Inhibited respiratory junk function was detected in a few of the older men, as pre predicted, as well as symptoms of pneumonia. Psychologically, after being trapped for 23 days, the shock of reintegration has been difficult for some of the group. Though their outward health is better than expected, they do seem affected by their time in the mine. Treatment. Due to the delicate nature of some of the patients, we have closed off the A-wing of the sanatorium. Psychological evaluations will take place as soon as possible. The men with respiratory problems have undergone a bronchitis. Bronchoscopy. Bronchoscopy? And are prescribed a course of streptomycin. Streptomycin. The others are simply kept under strict 24 hour observation. Mm hmm. Okay. Interesting. So, 18 of them, I guess, did not survive. Okay. Okay. I... oh. Was there something here? No, I thought that was the door. I guess... okay, I can't go through there. A machete? Oh, shit. Machete. Gross. That's the same one that the guy was carrying. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Uh, at least we have something to protect us, right? <laughs> Is there something here? <laughs> oh, restraining chair. What happened here?
I can't, I can't go in there, can I? Twisted fuckers like the watch, I guess. Was there something here? Oh, I thought there was. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's see if there's anything <sighs> about the chairs. About the chair, the restraining chair. A chair with leather straps to restrain the patient. There's blood on it. It looks like it was used as part of a weird experiment. An experiment. Interesting. Wait, I'm kind of lost now. Which way did I come in? I came in. Okay. All right, I got it. Anything here? No? Okay. What about here? On this side? Is that a crib? Oh, I see something over there. days will they keep us here? Wow. Anything here? No. Okay. Wait, what? There's a... What? There's more room back there? Wait. I thought I could look at this window. Oh no, that's just a light coming through. <laughs> I thought that would have been a... a clue or something. Which way should I go in first? Should I go this way first? Okay, please wolfies, do not eat me. <laughs> Reply immediately. Reporters and other snoopers to be kept away at all costs. Western province. Who wouldn't want press snooping around this paradise? <sighs> right? A telegram warning about press interest in survivors brought to the sanatorium. The mine owners were trying to cover something up. Hmm. Incident update. 12 survivors received at sanatorium. Showing signs of mental trauma may need to contain. Local press now have scent of blood. Becoming a problem. Please advise further. To Mr. Bragg. Oh. This one's updated. According to the telegram, the owners were trying to cover this up. Because it was their fault for whatever happened to the miners, I guess. Of course. They knew how dangerous it was. All right. Okay. <laughs> Skeleton. Ah, uh, 
I still have not found the key. That was the room that we were in, right? Yes. <gasps> I don't like the random sounds, man. Oh, the rats! Is there... Oh! This is where they were watching? Oh, interesting. Okay, wait. <laughs> Let me get a sip of my coffee. Well, that's not creepy at all, is it? Wait, what's on this side? I feel like... <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't even... bother with that. Wait, was that it? I thought there was something here, on this side. Oh, okay. No, don't do it. Don't do it. I don't trust it. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. I just got the chills. <laughs> I'm not gonna touch it. I don't know what that is. That looks like, um... Like one of those, uh, traps. Uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> no, 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 no. What is this? This place just gets better and better. Strange skull. Wait, what is that? I want to bring the light higher. That definitely is not human. <gasps> this with all the sounds. Is there something- oh! <laughs> Should I? Ooh! Ah! Oh, fucking sick! That's what I say. Oh. Oh. Gosh. Oh, is that one of the clock in cards? Check this out. Was that that was one of the clock in cards, right? Oh my gosh, it's That one's empty? Death certificate. A disfigured human head suspended in formaldehyde. A hastily written death certificate dated 24th February 1952 describes the body as partially eaten. Oh. Sarah Smith. Okay, I hereby certify that I, attend I attended deceased from March 8th, 1951 to February 24th, 1952 
and last saw her alive on February 24th, 1952. Cause of death, severe, severe lacerations to the abdomen, intra-abdominal injuries, subsequent blood loss. If death was due to external causes, violence, fill in also the following. Accident, suicide, or homicide. Homicide. Manner of injury. Laceration by sharp implement. Possibly fingernails. Additional notes. Please use the box provided overly for any additional relevant information. Signed by Bowen MD. On reverse, additional notes. Body was not discovered until 6 to 8 hours after death. Sections of the intestine and kidneys were apparently eaten by the attacker. Okay. So, this creature, I'm assuming it's the creature that took Jess. I remember saying that because it could see movement, it's it would be a very good hunter. So it seems like this thing is a cannibal. Wait, where did I see that? Sections of the intestine and kidneys were apparently eaten by the attacker. Yes. So... If it's an animal... Okay, so we know that whatever it is could eat eats humans. So it can either be a creature or some sort of cannibal. I think something gonna jump out of this one. to the head. Name tag. A mortuary tag. The name on it reads Nicholas Bowen. For a second, I was thinking the gas mask that we saw. I was trying to remember the name of who owned it, but I don't think it's Nicholas Bowen. Oh, Nicholas Bowen. That's the... Attack by inmate, fatal lacerations to throat. Oh! Wasn't Nicholas Bowen the head of the sanatorium? Back in the day? Attack by inmate? Uh... Is it this? Huh. So he... Let me see. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Brag. Okay, I am getting the names between Bowen and Bragg confused. Who is the head of the sanatorium? Mr. Bragg and the sanatorium as a whole. Huh. Okay. 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 <laughs> oh, that was the key? Oh. I didn't realize that was the pass. Okay. 
Okay. Mm, I'm kinda anxious. <laughs> oh, this goes upstairs. Oh, we gotta go back. Mm, back to the chapel. <laughs> a bit. Uh, let me just check if there's anything around here. Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Did we... We didn't come this way at all, did we? Wait, okay. Let me check down, down there to see. <sighs> oh. Yes, let's not go down because then I would have to go all the way back around. Oh my gosh, that wolf! <laughs> That's a quaint little psycho crib. Oh, I am supposed to go down. Alrighty then. <laughs> okay. had to do a lot of jumping from high high places okay <sighs> my heart man <laughs> my heart is <sighs> still trying to come down from my light is freaking out again gonna punch the dog wolf He's oh gosh gosh, gosh. Ah. oh my gosh I was still trying to come down from the first jump scare <sighs> let me breathe a little no <laughs> anything on this side Can I... Can I pet you? <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Is it too early to approach? I'll pet you later. <sighs> oh, he's looking at me. I wonder if I should approach the dog. Wolf. I don't know. <laughs> Because we are supposed to be friends. What is this? Oh, let's check this first. What 
is that? Maybe that's what keep the wolves fat and happy. Oh, okay. That will definitely help. <laughs> that will definitely help. I probably would have had my hand bitten. Uh, the Stogie stash exposed. Oh, so that's the guy that was. I mean, he, he was there when Jess fell. <gasps> oh my gosh, my heart is still jumping. <laughs> I can't stand this game with its jump scares. <laughs> a wooden cigar box. Only a single cigar is left. It has a distinctive brand label. The label is the same as the cigar box found in the sanatorium. Yas. No, not yet. We're not exiting yet. Clippings wall. So what does that say? A map of the mountain with sightings and recent disappearances marked with dates. It looks like the work of an obsessive mind. So is he the same guy that had the flamethrower in the beginning? That tried to... I think he tried to help Beth. When they were hanging on the cliff? So... Could he be the reporter that... Was at the... Well, no, he would be really old <laughs> if he was at the sanatorium at that time. But I guess he's trying to find out what happened to the miners and anyone else that's disappeared since then. <sighs> Trying to get out. Okay. Is there anything here? Oh, I can't go in here? Oh. So. Oh! What have we here? Some warmth. Oh, are those camera lenses? Can't you use something else? Okay. Okay, that works. Nice. Sweet. So we got a we have a gun and we have a machete. Okay, Wolfie. I'm here to make friend. Be your be your friend. Overly brave. <laughs> what does that even mean? Okay. Hey, guy. You like that? Yeah. Not everyone likes a little loving, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, good. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So. Does that mean we exit now? Yes, I think so. Okay. Let's go. 
Let's go, let's go. <sighs> oh, wait. Butterfly effect. Mike got to the morgue. Mike still has a usable machete. What does that mean? Man's best friend. Mike didn't kick the wolf. Mike made a friend. Okay. Um... I can't open this again, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, is it gonna let me supply the wolf with endless amounts of bones? <laughs> okay, I guess it's time to get out of here. <laughs> I'm not ready. Gosh, I really hate loud sounds like that. on this side? No, I can't go through. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, this place is so big. And it's so dark, I cannot see. Oh, but I do see something glowing. Glistening. What is that? Mine rescue. F okay, let me find a few more, um... few more clues if there are any. Oh, I do see some. I do see another thing. Is that a totem? It sure looks like it. <laughs> this one's black. Okay. So, Mike set something up on fire? <sighs> okay. Um... A batch of 30... Oh, update. The photograph only showed 12 survivors. Mine rescue photos. A framed photo of the group of miners rescued after a cave-in dated 1952. The plaque says that all 12 miners survived. Update, there were 30 clocking in cards from the mine. The Miracle Man. The successful rescue of all 12 miners trapped in the disaster of 5th January 1952. Wow. You guys, <laughs> I had to put the fan on because, um, yes, the anxiety and the nervousness is making me all hot and sweaty. That's no fun. <laughs> All right, all right. Let me tell you though, my heart is still very, still very jumpy right now. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm not ready to go down, but I guess this is the only, only way to go. I 
I don't like that it's so big here and there's so many rooms to explore. <laughs> Is there anything in this corner? <sighs> We're going deeper and deeper. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. Um... Okay, I guess that's the only way to go. Of course, locked. Wait, does that have... does that have... oil in it? Oh, crap! Oh! Oh, Mike, please don't die! There's cameras everywhere. Oh, he did that on purpose. Upper cable car station. Wait, he locked it? Hey, it's locked. The hell who did that? Then there's some seriously uncool shit going on up here tonight. Is that? I can't believe Josh is dead. I can't believe how he died. No, I, I mean, what if they were wrong? What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I, I don't know. There are some things that once you see them, you can never unsee them. Yeah, I guess, but some things you have to see for yourself. I'll take their word for it. I just want to look around to see if there are any totems or something that I can... Any clues. Oh, look! I made an X! So, where did that lock? That locked, um, for them to go back to the cabin? Because we're at the cable car. Oh, it, it was paint. It's still fresh. So, was that the blood that we saw in the room, in the, in the cabin? That looked like blood, but it was paint. Because I thought it could have been the pig's blood. So, I'm wondering if... Is this all a prank? It's a very sick prank. <laughs> oh, I see a totem! Yeah, it's a very sick prank. Um... I don't know. Oh, is that another black one? Yo, he just saw his own death. If that doesn't freak you out... Hmm... I don't know what will. Okay. Look! An axe! Oh! <gasps> better with an axe. Oh, that's the missing axe. Now, this is locked, Matt. Use the axe? We'll break the door down, will ya? 
Whoa, wait a second. We start smashing shit down, he's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? <sighs> I mean, oh. he's already watching you. What about... Look! What? The window. <sighs> That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip balm through that little slot. <sighs> oh, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. Um... Hmm... Okay, we're already not on her good side because I sided with Jess at the beginning. So... If I smash the door, would it make me seem more masculine <laughs> to Emily? Uh... Help Emily through. Let me smash it and see. Okay, fine. Here goes. I'm gonna huff, and I'm gonna... Shh, just do it! <laughs> That's not gonna break the axe, is it? Oh, please don't break the axe. Oh, thank you. <sighs> oh. Damn. What happened? This is crazy. We were here just a few hours ago. This must have just happened. What the fuck is going on? It's gotta be the guy. What is the, it? The one who, who got to Chris and Ash and Josh. He's gotta know this is the only way back. There was something say that. There was something painted on the walls. Look, the cable car's all the way out there. Well, that's, I, I mean, that's not far, right? You you can jump it? <laughs> I'm good, him. But not that good. Jump but, it? Though. Well, Matt, if you can't jump that, what are we gonna do? I, I don't know. God, everything is like so busted up. I think they knew exactly what they were doing. Can I... Uh, okay. Uh... Update. Matt and Emily found the axe down at the cable car station. An axe stuck into the door of the cable car station. It definitely wasn't there before. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's look in here. I saw something painted on the wall. Someone really did a number on this joint. Such a mess. This place was barely in working condition before, and now? Oh, it says die? Ranger path, cable There's car. There's gotta be something we can do. I'm all ears. Well, look at all this crap. There's gotta Sanatorium. be something useful in here, right? Hey, look! Fire tower. Hey, Magellan, maybe we should get the cable car working and take the show on the road, huh? They painted die, 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 die everywhere. Oh, oh. Wait, I just saw something on the floor. Was it on the floor? Very friendly. <sighs> Unfollow. <sighs> um here. Does it work? Oh. Great. No keys, no cable car. So, back to square one. <gasps> what about the fire tower on, on the map you found? I just said oh, that. I guess it's an option. Oh, maybe it has a radio or, or something. I mean, it, it would, wouldn't it? Probably, yeah. Matt, we gotta get to that radio. Um... Okay. We can use the radio to call for help. Somebody's gotta pick up the signal. Oh, 
Well, someone's learning to play by the rules. What? What rules? Rule number one, Emily is always right. Rule number two, nothing else matters because Emily is always right. Uh-huh. 4.0, bitch. <laughs> Suck on that. <laughs> is that what she said? <laughs> okay. What did that say? Okay. Is that? Good looking. Getting us out of here, Mr. Meat for Brains. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay. <laughs> Look at this bad boy. You're coming with me, buddy. Just like magic. Come on down. We can totally get out here this way. Oh <laughs> my goodness. You're right. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Maybe um you should go first to protect me. <laughs> I am never expecting those quick time. Okay. Okay, easy now. Gosh. Okay. Almost. Almost. I'm feeling kind of faint. Don't look down. Whoa. Okay. 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 Wow. Oh, can only thank God that's over. Yeah, for real. Wow, okay. Wait. Oh, I see something here. Guidance totem. So it's telling me to give him... What was that? What was that? Okay. What if it doesn't work? What? The radio. It'll work. But, okay, if it doesn't, we need a plan. Maybe we can just climb down. Climb down what? The mountain. Are you serious? What's the big deal? It, it's not like it's floating in the sky. <laughs> It might as well be a pitch black out. Hey, hopefully we won't have to. You think the psychopath is just gonna give up and run away? No. But maybe we should find a safe spot. Hold up, wait it out. It okay. It's <laughs> easier to figure this all out in the morning. As long as we don't hide in the lodge, that's where he expects us to go. Is there something this way? No? Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Uh. Ooh, I would not trust to walk on this thing. Wait, what's here? What's this way? Let me check here first. Huh? What is this? What is this? Huh? Huh? Huh is right. What is that? Whoa, this is 
Beth's phone. I thought the police, like, swept the whole area. Well, it looks like they missed this. Oh, I forgot it fell in there. Wait, is there still something further? No? Okay. <laughs> you see, Emily. Oh, I see another totem! Fortune. Oh man, oh man. Is there anything on this side? Oh, <gasps> whoa, look at that moon. Okay. Is there a way to go over there? Oh, that's where they fell. Watch where you step around here. Yes, Matt. Given the choice, I'd prefer not to spend my evening plummeting to my death off a snowy cliff top. Oh, the creature. Oh, what is it? I don't know. Jesus. Oh. Okay. <gasps> okay. <laughs> wow, that's a huge tub and it's filled up. That's a lot of water. Who, who are you? Oh, that's creepy. That, that's creepy. Hello? Guys? What are you doing out there? How long has she been in there? Okay. He must have closed that door... ...for it, for the candle to go out? Okay... Candles everywhere. Candles. Are... Oh, that's her breathing. Okay. Wait, what is that? Oh, Pete's sakes, my clothes, really? Whichever one of you did this is off my Christmas list. Seriously, not cool, guys. Not cool at all. Oh, they took her clothes. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, did I have- I did have a clue. Sorry, Beth never went anywhere without her cell phone. She must have passed this way on the night of the dis- of the disappearance. Okay. Okay, <laughs> I'm not ready. Hold on, was there, was there something here? No, okay, I thought I saw something glowing. Oh, I see a balloon. Uh oh. What the hell? Oh, it's got an arrow telling her where to go. Hold on. Hold on. Just want to make sure if there's anything on this side. <laughs> Hold on.
Stupid clock is right. Hold Chris? on. Hold on. Mike, Emily? Are there any new... This is really getting out of hand, okay? It was all very funny, haha. -ha. Look at Sam walking around in a towel, but now I just really want this to be over, all right? You had enough? I just want to make sure that there are no new clues that popped up. Yeah, that would suck. Taking all my clothes. <laughs> Hold on, before we go downstairs. <laughs> Was there anything over here? Okay, I guess not. I guess not. Wow. <sighs> okay. Um, hold on, hold on. I know there was a, a flashlight that, uh, Josh left. I wonder if we can take that. Okay, if you were trying to freak me out, guess what? You succeeded. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, she takes it automatically. Great. <laughs> Wonderful. How are you guys? Wow, this is weird. <laughs> Who is you? Who are you? Hey! Guys, come on! Oh, I'm done with this! I really don't appreciate the silent treatment here! <laughs> is that a home theater? Hello, Samantha. Looking for me? Psycho. Oh, gosh. I don't think you'll have much luck by that? looking, Samantha. Help. You're only going to see what I want you to see. And I have quite a lot to show you. What is going on? Open your eyes. Oh my god. She's quite beautiful, isn't she? Why are you doing out there? A beautiful bathing bird. Oh, do you think that's she creepy. Any idea what lies ahead? Do you think these were the last happy moments of this creature's Why are you life? Showing this to me. Why are you watching? Sam, why are you hiding? 
Sam, why prolong the inevitable? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh, I should have stayed. I should have stayed. No. No. Oh, get the bat. No. Oh, sweet. Are you kidding me? No handle? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. I saw something there. I saw something there. Survive that? Oh my god. The sound of what? What the well, heck? That certainly didn't go according to plan. Now, did it? Such careful, brilliant plotting, and yet in a crucial moment you are foiled by your own inadequacies. I told you that everything you do has consequences. Do you think this mistake won't have repercussions? What do you do? And what do you say? Causes things to change. Wait, am I the psycho? Yes. Oh, the good That's work. being analyzed? We did exploring the source of your fear. And you've just gone and used it for ill. Mm-hmm. Your overwhelming fear of things that are dead. You have turned it against these people who you so desperately want to torment. Has it been worth it? Gosh, that freaked me out so much. You know, that tends to happen in a, like, thriller horror. Uh, shows and films, I tend to figure things out right at the last minute before something happens. <laughs> so... Okay. So we are the psycho. Originally, I thought we were Josh. Can you imagine if... Well, I did think that Josh was the psycho, but since he's dead, I have no idea who it could be. All right, guys. Yes. That was very exciting. <laughs> I got scared quite a bit again. Man, the jump scares in this this game is just... It's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. We, we escaped the psycho with Sam. I don't know what's going to happen with uh matt and emily i do remember in one of the totems uh we did see the group of deer or or are they elk i'm not sure so <laughs> i guess we'll see what happens with that one and then with mike i'm curious to know what mike is gonna find at the sanatorium uh, when he continues exploring. So... 
it seems like I'm thinking the guy that has been following them is the one that's uh, trying to keep track of all of the deaths and missing persons. So, yes, I am wondering if we're going to find out who that person is that Mike is following at the sanatorium and whether he's good or bad um, because he has been following us, but he hasn't really done anything to hurt us. I'm hoping he's good because I keep saying it, but I think he was trying to help Beth during the prologue, and I wonder if he's the one that has the below torch. It was interesting to find all the clues at the sanatorium. Uh, seems like, I mean, to see the, the, the bodies and the head in the jar, they don't look like normal humans. It looked like they were transforming into something. I don't know. Am I just overthinking it? But, uh... Yes, from what I remembered, it said that some of the people were killed by having, like, their throats slashed or their, their gut slashed with fingernails and their intestines eaten. So, this is definitely a monster or a creature that feeds on humans and other animals, I'm guessing. A meat eater? A cannibal? I don't know. And, uh... It seemed like the people at the sanatorium and the family, the Washington family, uh, because they own the mine, right? I guess they were trying to... I guess they were trying to prevent any of the information leaking out, trying to keep it under wraps so that no one would know what happened at the mine and at the sanatorium. So that's very interesting. Uh, I would love to know more about that. But yes, <laughs> boy, oh boy, my, my, <laughs> my anxiety <laughs> has been going. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I've never played a game like this where, you know, your decisions, you have to make quick decisions on the spot like that. And, you know, my, my anxiety was just up the roof when I had to decide on something really quickly, like when Sam was being chased, <laughs> whether to hide or run. And then also the quick time events. We didn't have that much of it today, but yes, I am definitely, man, I am, I'm really enjoying myself with this game. It's so much fun. I'm really loving the paranormal mystery aspect of the game, uh, finding all the clues and trying to figure out what happened in 1952 to all the miners and what happened to Hannah and Beth that night and what these creatures are. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I hope you loved watching me get scared and jumpy and anxious. <laughs> but uh, yes, I'm excited to continue next time. So I'll catch you guys in the next video.